I rise today to recognize three legacy leaders from my district in Nebraska for Black History Month. Every February, we celebrate the achievements of African Americans and recognize their pivotal roles in the history of our great country. This year, I recognize Ella Willis, Tila Mickles, and Betty McDonald, who have worked diligently to leave a meaningful and lasting impact on the Omaha community. Originally from North Carolina, our first legacy leader, Ella Willis, came to Omaha in 1967, right after the race riots. After seeing the damage and destruction from the riots not being repaired, she joined the Neighborhood Action and Facts Association, founded by Andy Handy Wright. Around 2004, Mrs. Willis became the president of the association. She worked to secure grant funding for the beautification of 24th Street and the neighborhood garden and marketplace building. The association assisted with the painting of murals along the 24th Street corridor, including the Union of Contemporary Art. In 2005, under Mrs. Willis's leadership, the association received the Environmental Improvement Award from the Urban Community Improvement Program. Her community advocacy started long before when she joined the NAACP in the early 60s while her husband served in Vietnam. She participated in the voting registration process, <clears throat> protesting for the right for black women to vote and registering black men. Mrs. Willis thanks God for Dr. Martin Luther King and praises his belief in justice, hope, love, and nonviolence, saying this is what we must learn together as brothers and sisters of God. Have love and faith in your heart. Another legacy leader is Tila A. Mickles. She founded she, the founder and CEO of Compassion in Action, a faith-based nonprofit organization that serves individuals confined in the state correctional facilities and families affected by incarceration. Mrs. Mickles became a single parent to five young children after an unfortunate turn in life and later attended college, earning her associate degree in chem chemical dependency counseling. At the same time, she developed Compassion Action's pre-release education reentry preparation program with her motto of embracing the person, rebuilding the family, and breaking the cycle. She's been recognized for her dedication and accomplishments through the years. The UNO Woman of Color Award, Heartland Family Services Family Advocacy Award, and the City of Omaha Excellence Award, and many, many more. Mrs. Mickles is also an ordained minister on staff at Mission Church and credits the success of her organization to a strong faith in God and believe that every person is valuable. As she says, if you're not dead, God is not done. Our third legacy leader is Betty McDonald, co-founder of Native America Days, a week-long homecoming event that celebrates the community's historical and cultural legacies. Born and raised in Omaha, Betty belongs to the Bryant Fisher family, hailed as one of the most prestigious black families in Nebraska. After graduating from the All House School of Beauty and Culture, she became owner of her own beauty shop of over 50 years, the Economy Beauty Salon. The vision for reunion for reunion of Native Omahans was first arranged in 1976, and less than a year later, the original founding planning members, Vera Johnson and Betty McDonald, started a tradition of the week-long celebration. It is now known as Native Omaha Days, and every two years has brought people to Omaha from across the country. Approaching its 22nd biennial, Native Omaha Days has reached a peak, influencing cultural programming along 24th Street and adjacent North Omaha neighborhoods. Betty is an active member of St. Paul Baptist Church. This year, she will celebrate 70 years of marriage, 70 years, to her husband, Jesse McDonald. I personally thank these three women for making a difference and leaving a legacy of future black leaders in Omaha. We owe them much gratitude and recognition. I yield back the remainder of my time.